no, no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Barging in here demanding who I am. Oh, I'm even too. Even less interested in letting you in. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. I mean something that's delightful. Like my room here. I... Wow, you really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no... Well, come on! There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... <clears throat> fine, fine, you little... little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. She'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Art was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. Hello, Even. You're home. It's where you belong. What's in trouble? Trouble is odd. At least she'll be a sixer. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? Everything's better with tea. Tea fixes everything, even. Listen to your mother, even. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, even. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The Queen will find you. I want 
to go. I miss my sister. I miss my parents. Mother, I... You're safe now. They can't hurt you anymore. H hurt me? No, that's not right. They never... I, I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Wake up! Wake up, girl! No, 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 no! This whole time ship's falling apart, Tatum. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. Take one of these bad boys! As even lost sight of Herman, she realized she'd also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay. Still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. She couldn't yet understand it, but even had landed in the middle of something exceptional. These were the ruins of a time long past, and the magic she could almost sense in the air wasn't about to give up its secrets that easily. I must be the first person to come here in decades.
Hey, um, I, are you okay? Are you, uh... Let's go! Hello! Okay, uh, well, thanks for saving me back there. You were really, oh, well, <sighs> heroic. Right, <laughs> okay, talking to a dice. I better get going. You should too. This place is really dangerous. <laughs> Oh, um, I mean, I guess you can tag along. Uh, the more the merrier, right? Okay, Evan, keep it together. We're talking to a dice now, Evan. And to yourself. You don't just take things from people. Ugh, fine. You could hold on to them, I guess. Just don't digest them. Watch out, Dice. I think these machines are coming alive too. Attacking. was clear that these were no ordinary cards, and Dicey was no ordinary dice. Something extraordinary was awakening. didn't understand what was happening to her and her new dice friend. But she didn't need to, for there was another, more obvious truth that she understood completely. She was truly and inarguably kicking robot butt!
more cards. Oh, I wonder what these do. Listen, we're an incredible team, and as long as I'm going to be talking to you, I should probably know your name. Uh huh. Right. Well, how about if I just call you Dicey? Perfect. Well, let's see if we can find a way out of this place, Dicey. had slumbered in this long-forgotten world even had just become interesting. And that was seldom good. We're moving as one, an unstoppable fighting machine. With each movement, the girl and her dice became more and more inseparable.